AT&T on Tuesday reported its third-quarter financial results that fell slightly below market expectations. Still, the telco maintained its guidance for the full fiscal year. The company reported adjusted earnings of $0.74 cents per share on revenue of $39.7 billion. A year prior, the company reported $0.74 cents per share on revenue of $40.89 billion. Wall Street was expecting earnings of $0.75 cents per share on revenue of $40.1 billion. Revenues were down on a year-over-year -year basis primarily due to declines in legacy wireline services and consumer mobility, the company said. Excluding the impact of hurricanes and earthquakes in the third quarter, revenues would have been $39.8 billion. Operating expenses for the quarter were $33.3 billion, compared with $34.5 billion a year prior. We continued to operate our business efficiently in the quarter, CEO Randall Stevenson said in a statement. At a time of transformation in our wireless and video businesses, as well as investment in growth opportunities, we're able to maintain our full-year guidance. Wireless margins and phone churn continue to run at record levels. Our fiber deployment is helping drive broadband growth and Direct now had another strong quarter. The company had a total of 3 million wireless net ads for Q3, with 2.3 million coming from the U.S. and nearly 700,000 from Mexico. Postpaid phone churn came to 0.84% for the quarter, which AT&T attributed to the success of video and wireless bundling strategy. In its entertainment segment, AT&T posted 125,000 IP broadband net ads and 29,000 total broadband net ads. It added on net nearly 300,000 Direct Now subscribers, not quite making up for its traditional TV subscriber decline. Earlier in the month, AT&T revealed in Insec filing that it lost around 390,000 traditional video subscribers in Q3. Meanwhile, AT&T said Monday that it has delayed the termination date for its Time Warner deal which is still expected to close by the end of the year. The merger is still awaiting approval from the U.S. Department of Justice.